This review has been approved by Lord Carnage. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room. I love the artwork on this one. Get ready for Cobra Triangle on your Nintendo Entertainment System. Brilliant intro graphic and excellent music. This is Cobra Triangle for the NES, released in 1989. From developer Rare, the same folks who brought us the excellent RC Pro-Am on the NES. And this plays a lot like RC Pro-Am with boats. But it's not the same game at all. If anything, it's like RC Pro-Am meets Spy Hunter meets Gradius. There's a lot to like and a lot to get seriously frustrated about in Cobra Triangle. For starters, technically, it's extremely solid. What you would expect from Rare. It looks and plays a lot like RC Pro-Am. In fact, the controls are nearly the same, but Instead of just racing, you're making your way through a wide variety of mission types. Everything from racing to dropping off mines, which is what I'm doing here, saving civilians, jumping waterfalls, battling end bosses, and more. You collect weapon and speed upgrades, and you activate those in the same way that you do in Gradius or Life Force. I love the music and the overall look of the game, but you know what I don't like? And if you've played this game, I'm sure you can guess. It's the stupid waterfall levels. They're not fun, they're just irritating, and they break up the flow of what would otherwise be an amazing NES game. Now, it's still pretty good as it is, but the waterfall sucks. You accelerate and have to dodge the whirlpool and hit that moving ramp at just the right moment. And there's a whole bunch of them, by the way. I tried turning around and doing it again, I tried memorizing the pattern, I, I tried everything possible until I eventually just got lucky. I could never do that again no matter how many times I tried, and the thing is, by the time I was done playing this game, I never wanted to do it again. Like, I'd rather play RC Pro-Am. That's not to say I don't recommend Cobra Triangle. There's some great stuff in here. Just be forewarned, you'll hate waterfalls for the rest of your life. Which I already hated anyway, thanks to TLC. Come to think of it, I don't like whirlpools all that much either. You know, I'm not sure what to say about this one because I think it's a good game on many levels, but I just don't like it. And, and I think that's because deep down, regardless of whether or not you like this game, I want to play more RC Pro-Am, and this isn't RC Pro-Am, it's Cobra Triangle. Which does pack a good dose of that, remember how hard NES games used to be? So if you've got the time and the patience for that, well, good luck getting through this one. I love the music and the look and feel of the game, I think it's ambitious and technically solid. It's just not terribly well balanced, and that throws it off for me. And, like I said, admittedly, what I want to play is RC Pro-Am with boats, and that's not what this game is. This one is pretty inexpensive and easy to find, so if you think it looks cool and you're up for a challenge, have fun with those waterfalls, by the way. Don't say I didn't warn you. Then I do recommend Cobra Triangle. Like usual these days, I've got a classic game room shout out and thank you to send to my man Ben from Buffalo, New York. Thank you, Ben, for sending Cobra Triangle and rekindling my hatred and distrust of waterfalls. 